You know, I've seen a lot. I do a lot. I explore a lot. I talk to a lot of people. I I I love trying new things, but I got to say it really is something quite unique, original and special. Um it's a very very good course that has taught me so much about myself. I think that's a key thing that I like to highlight for people is that you learn so much about yourself. You learn about when you don't want to go there. You learn that much like doing what? Doing nothing. Doing nothing. You're just just hold lying your down. breath and just wait. It just wait. <laughs> and sometimes it's not very long and you feel a bit of discomfort and then where do you go? Yes. You know. And the other thing I love about the daily practice element of it, and I think we should all have a daily practice of some sort, some whether it's sort. this or something else, like yes. doesn't matter to me, like, but a daily practice, because what this daily practice does for me is that on one day, let's say if I'm holding my breath, no problem for let's say two and a half minutes, let's say it's feeling easy. And then the next morning, one and a half minutes feels really hard. Yes. I've done it enough times now to, to realize Oh, your mind is busy. You're completely. You're worried about this happening later, or your workload, or you have yes. a podcast guest arriving shortly, or you you start to learn how much your mental state affects your physiology. Yes, exactly. Which is incredible. Yes. If it was all CO2 tolerance, then why would you have yeah. a lower tolerance of that day and the next day you have a completely different CO2 tolerance? Yeah. So it's not just about that. It's about tolerance. And what's going to determine your tolerance? Well, is the state of your nervous system. Is it uh, feeling really relaxed on that day, free of concern? But then another day, things come up and then you, you have a, a night that's not that restorative and you're agitated and there's so much at the back of your mind, you have concerns. And concerns are what? It's if there's something I need to regulate in my life, otherwise I don't feel safe. That's what it is. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's so binary. That hence sympathetic, parasympathetic that's nervous it. system. That's, that's it in it. a nutshell. Either you agitate or you tranquilize, you calm down. Or arousal mode or relaxation mode. Why? What determines? Well, either uh, there's a threat or something to do, including even something you enjoy to do. So you need to agitate yourself to whatever, go dance or go work out or go just work. Mm. Or relaxation, downtime. So you feel safe that you can allow yourself to take that time yeah. down, free of concern, tranquilize restore your energies and that feels good and that's healing and that's very important and you it's a, almost I would say it's a, it's self-care and self-love to take the time ideally sometime every day just do that just put your hands on your on your chest and feel yourself, feel how your body feels, feels how inside of you, your emotional self, your mm -hmm. mental self. Give yourself some support, give yourself some attention. And then maybe also give yourself some practice. So you, you practice because, you know, with that practice, hey, I, I would love to be patient. I would love to be, to have a more quiet mind. I would like, would love to think less. I would love to think more positively. I would love to have less anxiety. I would, everybody does because it feels good. It's goodness. We feel golden when we feel that way. But if we wait for the world, for our circumstances to be perfect around us, it's never going to happen. There always will be some problems to take care of, some concerns to be had. So there's a point where we have to decide that, hey, you know what? I'm closing the doors, I'm closing the windows. I'm one with, with myself. And I'm going to just give myself some attention because I need to regulate not just the outside world, not just to clean things and to organize things. And just I need to reorganize inside. I need to clear it up. Yeah. I need to balance it out. I need to pacify it. It's practice. It's practice. And then it becomes second nature. If you practice, yeah. 
with enough consistency, it becomes not just something you do, it becomes, it becomes who you are. It becomes some real structural changes happen neurologically in your brain, in your nervous system. And when we talk about the nervous systems and emotions, it's completely physical, isn't it? Yeah. And so it goes through the body. You get to know yourself so well with this practice. And just completing the circle from the start of this conversation, the inner confidence you have yeah. in yourself on the other side of this, money can't buy that. No. No. You can't read that in a textbook or in a blog or in an article. You can read about this is why breath work is good for me. This is why meditation is good for me. But you do the practice, you go to that slight zone of discomfort, you yes. learn how to calm everything and yes. come out the other side and realize, wow, my mind is ultimately dictating most, if not all of how I feel. And I actually have more power over that mind than I previously thought. Yes. That's priceless. Yes. You recondition yourself. You're f shaping that, it's called the inner self, what you're going to experience, because that's what we are in the end. We are in charge of intentionally impacting mm. that experience that we are. That's the, the, the meta skill, that's a supreme skill. Otherwise, we are, uh, you know, subject to all kind of influences and we have little power over, again, the experience that we're having. That's the experience yeah. we choose to be. You could say it's philosophical, it's psychological, that's also spiritual, in fact. It's all of that. And in the end, it's all simple. If you ask me, what's the secret to... Uh, holding your breath a long time. Is there a breathing technique? Is there like a mind technique? What is the mind technique? I want to tell you what the mind technique is. And it's trust. Because trust will give you all the relaxation, the patience that you want. If you trust, you can relax. When you trust, some people call it faith. When you trust, that's the supreme feeling. That's where the peace comes from. That's where the patience comes from. That's where the clarity comes from. And that trust, again, when you go through the world, there are plenty of things that are going to unsettle you, that are going to startle you, that are going to uh, make you alert and maybe anxious and everything. When you are within, it's an interaction with yourself, Anything that happens, anything that you will experience is on you. Any thought, any visual that comes to you, any subject you think about, any emotion, any feeling, they don't come out of the blue, they come from you. You as a nervous system, not just having a nervous system, you as a nervous system generate that. You as a mind, you as a brain, you as a soul, generate that. Why? Well, you're telling yourself a story. You're interpreting the world. You're interpreting yourself. You're making sense of that experience that you are. Now, if you're going to experience that trust, it's because you establish it. You want it. You desire that experience. You invite it. You establish it and you delve in it as in an inner space, and then you dwell in it, and then you magnify it. And that requires impeccable intention and prolonged, also impeccable attention. And it's very pure that way. And it's either that or like, oh my God, there's no way I can do this. I have to wait longer. I don't feel good. It's, okay, well, which way? 
<laughs> what experience of yourself do you want to be? Yeah, it's not simple. Choice. <laughs> it's, and it's on you. Yeah, it's 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 on you. I think that's where the difficulty comes, but that's also where the gold comes. Yes. We can confront the limitations inside our mind. We can sit next to them. Turn that lead into gold. And who wouldn't want that? Ewan, it's been such a joy um, Likewise. talking to you on the show. It's been great hanging out with you. You're someone I've... Uh, been watching from afar for many years. I know you've inspired Likewise. previous guests on this show, Tony Riddle, The Foot Collective. Great work, great messengers. And yeah. you've you've done a great job at bringing the message of natural movement to so many people and inspiring many others to keep uh, sharing that message, which is wonderful. And I really feel now, I don't know if I'd call it a reinvention or a iteration. Like I know you're still passionate about natural movement, Completely. but I feel that this fits very much alongside it, but is again something very fresh and exciting that people can engage with if they choose it. So I thank you for thank that you, course. Ryan. Thank you. Well you know I I I'm a human being. I uh I like all human beings that we are, we face uh challenges in, in this life. Uh, we 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 do our best to make the sense of this experience that we're going through and uh, we all need uh, tools and practices and you know there are ways to optimize that experience to 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 make it better that's what we want it's a good life good experience and so through natural movement uh, what i realized okay this is missing from society where's the freedom to just do the things that we all want to do when we're kids and and then uh, or even it was never just physical and that's why in my book I, I say, when I move naturally, move in the woods, when I move the way I'm, I'm designed to move, it's um, it's a physical exp experience or expression of my spirit, and it's a spiritual experience of my body. And and then with that breathful work practice, it uh, becomes even more this inner journey, inner exploration, inner practice but it's still through the body because mm. the body never goes away everything that we experience is through the body so um what i believe i've found through my experience through my quest through my personal research i am eager to share for others to benefit as well, well that's what i'm teaching what i'm teaching if you enjoyed that short clip i think you are really going to enjoy the full conversation which you can check out here.